17 years after he first appeared on the big screen, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine finally ends his journey in probably the best X-Men film since X-Men 2. When this movie was first announced, I was a little apprehensive since they appeared to want to adapt the old man Logan storyline, which A, considering Fox's run on the X-Men films I was already worried about, and B, old man Logan contains a majority of characters not owned by Fox. But when they started to get pictures and teasers and trailers and everything released, it all looked fantastic, utilizing some elements from Old Man Logan and combining it with original storytelling. The biggest element added was obviously X-23, a character who recently took over from Wolverine in the comics and has become Wolverine herself. The story also borrows elements from the critically acclaimed video game The Last of Us. Now, I don't think this was intentional, but when trailers and stuff started to come out, there was definitely obvious comparisons to Logan and Laura acting out as Joel and Ellie from the games and it's definitely there there's definitely parts that seem like they would be right at home within a Last of Us film. The story itself sees Logan tasks with taking the young Laura to Eden, a place where mutants can live safely away from the world that has killed most of them. Of course there are some complications, mainly in the form of the Reavers and Xander Rice, both whom work for Alkali and Transigen, the companies responsible for creating Laura and others like her. These aren't the only threats to Logan as he faces a clone of himself, suitably named X-24 who is a pure wild animal Logan can and could be. It was great seeing Hugh Jackman actually play a character who is literally the same as Logan, only with more anger and rage. He did it very well, and I guess it was helped by he actually had no lines of dialogue as that besides yelling and screaming and carrying on like that. Not everything ends well for the mutants, however, as both Logan and Charles are killed off in this film. Charles gets a really nice send-off about midway point through the film, and Logan has probably one of the best death scenes in recent memory. It was legitimately sad to see him go since we've sort of grown up with this character a lot of people over the last 17 years so he's kind of become this figure in our lives and everything and to see him actually die was actually quite sad and they did it really tastefully as well. There's also a really nice little role played by Stephen Merchant who plays Caliban and it's a really kind of funny role as well. He's kind of like a, a nanny to Childs who's kind of gone a little bit loopy when he gets on his meds and everything since his powers are sort of failing thanks to I believe a degenerative brain disease or something. Along with a rather depressing story, the movie also earned an R rating, which is very deserving of it I believe. Limbs are cut off, bodies explode, and faces are crushed all in a bloody fashion. The acting from all parties in this is some of the best in the X-Men films, and I guess that's because James Mangold is a director who can bring that out in them. You know, Hugh Jackman brings his A game for one final time, as does Patrick Stewart as a rather funny senile Professor X. He was actually legitimately funny in this film, which I did not expect. Daphne Keen, the newcomer to the X universe who plays X-23, did an amazing job and she does an amazing amount of emoting in this film with her face since she barely talks in the film and when she finally does it's kind of surprising and it's done in a really funny scene as well where Logan is kind of surprised she can talk as well because throughout the movie you, you never know she can talk and then she suddenly starts talking uh, Spanish and it kind of throws him for a loop a little bit and it's pretty great. She isn't just a little kid either, she can actually cut loose with Logan and she does multiple times in this film, even keeping up with him and even surpassing him in skill and ferocity. I hope that Fox can keep this momentum going with their other films they have coming out with the X-Men, the Deadpool and whatever else they have planned and I hope they finally found a winning formula in their movies. Logan is getting a 9 out of 10 from me. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section below or follow the links on screen now to other reviews or topic videos. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe for more weekly reviews and videos.